Hello, there are a couple of things I'd like to do today. One of them is to swatch out some Derwent Light Fast pencils that I've bought with me on holiday. I bought my Luminance pencil case, so I've got quite a good range of colour pencils with me. But there are some from the Derwent Light Fast range which fill in some gaps in the Luminance range. So before I came on holiday, I quickly grabbed a handful of the Derwent Light Fast pencils, which aren't duplicates for the Luminance. And I just wanted to swatch these out because at the moment they're just loose in my pencil case and I'd like a quick reference point for what they actually are. The other thing I'd like to do is take a look at different ways to draw greenery. I did this picture the other day of some trees in my garden and I wasn't really very happy with how the trees and the greenery turned out. I felt like I was either getting bogged down in detail and couldn't give a good impression of what the tree actually looked like. And I just kind of felt like I was getting tempted to put more and more layers on and just making it more of a mess. So I've divided out some little squares in my big A4 art creation sketchbook. And I'd like to look for different examples and ways of drawing greenery that I come across on the internet and just do little examples in these boxes. So first of all, I'll start off swatching these light fast pencils that I've got. For some reason, I left a gap earlier in the book, so I'll do it in here. So as well as coloured pencils, I've also got to hand in case I want to use them in these little test greenery squares, some Mungio Gallery Artist Soft Oil Pastels. I've got a paint palette out. It's got some of my favourite greens in it. These are all Roman Schmort paints. I've got some assorted watercolour markers. So Ecoline, Windsor Newton, and Albrecht Jura, and I've got some Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s, the water soluble ones. So I looked through Pinterest and found examples of greenery and foliage that I liked. And here I am now sketching out either a small version of the whole picture or just a snippet of it. I've not necessarily used the same art materials or the same colours even. I was just trying to get down a rough impression of some ideas which made me think outside of my box a little bit more. I was able to find the names of the original artists in most cases and have included them underneath each completed picture at the end of the video. I jump back and forwards between pictures a little bit during this segment while I'm waiting for layers of colour to dry. Because of the terribly slow upload speeds where I'm staying, I'm speeding through the rest of the process.
windows down Scattered clouds Smell of spring From sight Open road You sit in close Let's go somewhere far away Cause if all I have is you Then I'll be just fine I forgot to video this one, but it's a simple pencil sketch with a watercolour background. This is another that I missed, it's done in oil pastel blended out with black coloured pencil lines.
So here they all are. This first is part of a picture by Kate Moody. And this is from Hannah Woodman. This is inspired by a little section of a picture from Jess Amy drew this. And this is another of hers. This was inspired by Melissa Lakey and this by Miranda Sofronio. I couldn't find the artist of the painting which inspired this small snippet, nor for this one which I took a small detail from. This is my version of a painting by Lee Ellickson, which in turn was inspired by another artist. And this is from Jessica Smith. Paulina Bohodist. And this was inspired by a small section of a picture by Emma Carlyle. Here are all 12. They're just my interpretation of methods used by artists to capture trees. And it was a really useful exercise for me. It helped me realise that I tend to overcomplicate things. And also showed me just how much I like non-realistic colours. I like the technique of keeping the tree trunk light and filling foliage in behind. That was used by a couple of artists. I realised that I don't need to include as much detail as I thought I did and I'm looking forward to having another go at sketching the trees in my garden. I hope this was interesting for you as well. Thank you for joining me. Bye!